Hello, hello, and happy Monday night stamping, everyone. I am coming pre-recorded for you this week. As uh, I explained earlier in your email, I am enjoying a vacation right now. So uh, the last Monday of every month, I always uh, like to go over the paper pumpkin, the monthly kit that Stampin' Up! puts out and uh, go through how to read the instructions and some tips and tricks on how to put it together. And so with that, let's get started. Okay, here is the paper pumpkin box. If you are not familiar with paper pumpkin, like I said, it's the monthly kit. So there's two ways you can do this. You can subscribe where every month it just comes out of your account and they just automatically ship it to you. That is the best way because there are extra benefits that way. You have um, access to the paper pumpkin store for refill kits or uh, right now we've got some dies that are available. So only people who subscribe can get a hold of those things. The other way is prepay where you pay for a number of paper pumpkins up front, one, three, six, 12, whatever. And then each month you take your code that they email to you and you put the code in for that month. And then that way you don't have to do it every month. You can just kind of, uh, if you think you're going to like uh, the May paper pumpkin, you could put the code in for May, but then June's didn't look like something you really wanted. So you could skip June and do July. Um, and so that's the other way. Anyway, so this is the paper pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin always comes with a stamp set. That is, this is an exclusive stamp set. Stampin' Up! does not sell this separate. It only comes in the Paper Pumpkin. And so uh, this month it's butterflies. So you've got those two. Then you've got these sentiments. Sending loving thoughts your way. Everything will be okay surrounding you with love. So this is a great um, uh encouragement stamp set. All right. So that is that. It also always comes with an ink spot. This month, the color is basic gray. So every month you get a different color. It always comes with adhesive. This is tear and tape. These are uh, Stampin' Dimensionals. So you always get that. And then here are the instructions. And the instructions are pictures. Okay. And so that's why I like doing this video with all of you. So I can kind of explain what these pictures mean. This first picture down, well, first of all, the first is the actual picture of what the cards look like. So there are three multiple butterfly, colorful butterflies. Then there's this one beautiful uh, gray and gold one. And then this one uh, white with the uh, tan, or actually it's our new uh, color called beige. Um, anyways, so that's what the cards look like. And you get nine of them with coordinating envelopes. So then the other, the, the back of the instructions, this is what I was talking about. These dies here, you can get these dies, but only if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber and you just uh, open that QR code and it takes you right to the paper pumpkin store. And then this is a picture of everything that comes in the kit. And last on the back is these are the things in the kit that you need for each of the three cards. So card number one, you need the gray with the gold butterflies, this uh, gold sheet here, and then this piece with the butterfly on it, some dimensionals and some tape. Card number two, you need the white card base with this uh, corner piece, this uh, banner, these butterflies, this, uh, uh, it'll come to me, Sam. <laughs> And then finally, card number three, you need the turqu uh, turquoise, it's not turquoise, it's Lost Lagoon with gold, um, these colorful butterflies, this stamp and that banner. All right. So that's all of the things that you need. So you can separate everything into the piles. Then the back this side, there we go, you turn it and each section is the instructions for that card. So here's card number one, step one, two, three. Card number two, step one, two, three, four. Step number, uh, card number three, steps one, two, three, three, four, five. And then over here is a ruler for measuring out the twine. Um, yep. All right. That is it. So let's open this baby up and let's put everything in the piles. All righty. Put my drink over here. Oops, come here. There we go. And this picture here, this is the one I want. So I need, let me get all this out of the way too. So I have some room. Let's move some of that there. Oh, drop my spot. There we go. All right. So uh, here is everything you need. So card number one, 
we need, well, actually, these go to card number three. So I'm going to put those over here. All right. These go with card number two. So those will go there. All right. These are the big gold butterflies. And that goes with two. And this side butterfly goes here. All right. So those all go here. All right. Looks good. So far, so good. Oops, come on. And then that is recycle. And then now there's only three cards, but they give you an extra banner. So hold on to that um, for an alternative card. OK, or maybe a scrapbook page. And I just like punching everything out. All right, here we have this sheet, and it looks like we need these large, actually, this large butterfly goes with this one also. Okay, so all of these go here. Well, it looks like we need one down here also. Okay, well, we'll see what we've got. I'll, I'll put those there and there. Um, these little ones, so you need a little pink, a, the other pink. Uh, the white and the turquoise. So all of those. Oh, and the gray. So you need one of each of those. These are so little, I'm afraid I'm going to lose them. So I'm going to leave them connected to that sheet right there. I don't want to lose those. All right. What's next in our box? We've got our card bases. Here we go. So these are the gray with the gold. Oh, here we go. Okay. There we go. Um, these do go up here uh, to card number two because card number three has these cards, all right, which the card has a picture of that butterfly right there. All right, anyway, so this is card number three, and there's another one right there, and then these gold sheets here go with card number one, so all that goes there. This is card number three down here. Um, all right, these are card number two. So we'll put these here. There we go. And what else do we have here? We have the uh, this piece with the butterfly on it. These all go with card number one. These are the corner pieces that go with card number two. What else do we have? Uh, these are the turquoise cards with the gold. This is card number three. We are doing this well. Awesome. Oh, and then we have every, all the envelopes. Okay. And all the envelopes are the same. They have that beautiful butter, gold butterfly emboss on the back. All right. So I'm just going to put those back in the box, put the box over here. Um, put card number three there, card number two here. And then here is card number one. All right. Now that I've got the pile for card number one, all right, we're going to put it together. So we need to find the instructions. Turn it over until you find the instructions for card number one. And here it is. All right. And it tells us to step one, we are going to get this gold piece out. All right, gold piece out. Then we're going to get this butterfly piece here. We are going to turn these upside down. See, this is why you need me to do the instructions for you. That, that looked very confusing. I, I would not have figured that out if I hadn't done this before. Okay. Um, we're going to put dimensionals on this one and we're going to put glue uh, tape runner on this one. Okay. So let me get out the dimensionals. Here we go. And it looks like we want six. So one, two, three, and four, five, six. There we go. And then the tape runner or the tear and tape, I should say. I love tear and tape. It's so, it's so easy. You just put it down and then you take your thumbnail or a credit card or something and you just tear it off there. And then they also want one at the top. Okay. And there we go. So we've got that on there, that on there. Now, the next step, step number two, shows these two put together. All right. Well, that's easy enough. So let me get something to pick off this covering here. Okay. Turn this over. Now, this, I'm not taking the backs off these dimensionals yet, so I can turn it over. Okay. And we're just going to line this up so we have a nice little border. There we go. And check this out. So you want to pop up the wings. Isn't that fun? 
Yeah, well, I should have popped up the wings before I glued them, glued it down. There we go. Okay, and so now our little butterfly is like that. Isn't that fun? I love that. All right, then last but not least, we're going to put this on here and we're done. Boy, that was easy for card number one. Okay, we didn't have any stamping. It was already stamped for us. I'm always here for you. So just take these backs off and voila. And we're just going to center that right there. Oh, that is such a beautiful card. So simple. Now, if you did not want this sentiment here, you wanted something else, you could take a piece of card strip and cover it. Okay, you could take like the gray card strip and maybe heat and boss a different sentiment on there if you would like. That would be one thing you could do. Also, if you had some bling or something, you could put some bling on the center. All kinds of ideas you can do with this. But that is card number one. I've got everything here for card number two. We have the, um, the corner piece here. We're going to put tape on the back of that. We've got the banner here. We're going to, first we need to uh, stamp it and we want it pointing this direction. So I need to stamp it. Then we've got these butterflies. We've got the one that's half and then we've got this uh, gold one here and we've got this large one here. Now notice on the instructions, it is kind of important that you put the tape where they want you to put the tape. Um, that way, uh, like it can move around. Uh, I'm not really sure why they put it there, but I have learned in the past, always follow where they put their tape and you, you won't have any problems. Okay. So first let's stamp. So I've got my uh, basic gray here. Um, it comes with an ink spot in your kit. I'm just using my uh, regular ink pad. There we go. Perfect. All right, then get our tear tape. Now, if you've got a tape runner, you may want to um, use a tape runner instead. But I'm just going to go ahead and use this tear and tape since I have it. Okay. All right. And the butterfly, this one gets a piece here. This one gets a piece here. And the little one, half one gets one down the center. All right. Oh, and the banner needs some also. So we, there we go. All right. Now that I've got tape on every piece, I can go to the next step. And the next step tells us to put the corner piece in and the sentiment on. All right. So let's get our card base. First, I'm going to fold it in half. Okay. And you may want to use a bone folder. I just use my fingernail. And let's take the tape off of this one. Okay. And... We're going to line it up in the corner and then move it, make sure it lines up everywhere. All right. I like starting in one corner. Whoops. All right. We'll, we'll start on this corner instead. I'm a little shaky this morning. There we go. Ha, ah, perfect. Okay. So that's on there. Then this sentiment banner. And it looks like it's... A little close. Um, I try to look at like the width of the banner here and the space here. And it looks like um, it's a little less space at the top than it is the width of the, the banner here. So there's the width of the banner. So I'm just going to come about right there. That looks good. Right on the edge. Perfect. Now, the butterflies. Um, you kind of have to look at this. I've got one, the little one underneath, then the next one on top, and then this one on top of that. So let's do it in that order. And we've got this one. And looks like he's way over here on the side like that. Then this next big one. Now, this is where I go, why did they just put tape here? Okay, and I go down and I look. And so it's right there. And I don't want to cover up too much of that butterfly. There we go. 
like that. And so it's only connect. Whoopsie. Let's try that again. only connected right there so like this part I don't know it doesn't seem to matter okay all right and finally this one here kind of goes like this there we go okay and so like I guess you can like move these these wings up a little bit there we go Perfect. What do you think? That was really simple, wasn't it? I've got everything here for card number three now. We've got um, the sentiment surrounding you with love and the banner. Here's the banner. Um, there's the stamp. It also wants you to stamp this butterfly. So we've got the butterfly there. Um, we are going to put step two has us so step one has a stamping. Step two has us putting dimensional. Step three, all the little butterflies. And then finally putting it on the card base. So let's go on and get started here. So I'm going to move all this over for a sec so I can have some room. There we go. And get out my ink pad. And so this one is sending loving thoughts your way. Sending loving thoughts your way. Go. Very nice. And then they want you to also stamp a gray butterfly right here. So kind of there we go. Very nice. I'm done with the ink. Next, we're going to put dimensionals on. So flip that over and flip that over. And we need six, one two, three, and then two, three, and one, two, three. All right. We've got that on there. Now we're going to turn this one over and take the dimensional backings off of this one and put this in the center. So right there. Very nice. Okay. Now, we uh, see these gray dots. These gray dots mean blue dots, and there was a pack of blue dots in your kit also. Um, if you don't like blue dots, you can just get out some liquid glue. That would be even faster. But uh, since we've got the dots, let me just go ahead and use them. And we're going to put one on each one of these or two. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Liquid glue would be faster. It's just uh, you want to be careful using li liquid glue because there's not much room and uh, you don't want it to come squishing out. So just a little teeny tiny bit. There we go. Almost done. And voila. All right. Now. Let's see where they put them. They put the large gray one up on the right. It's right here. Then they put the next one is this turquoise one down here. Uh -huh. And this one is the white one. It goes right here. Kind of overlapping the gray just a little bit. This one is the the it's the moody mauve, but it's also got some turquoise in it. It goes up here. I call it turquoise. That's a lost lagoon. I don't know why I keep calling it that. Let me turn it going this way. There we go. And finally, this little moody mauve one. There we go. Okay. Now that I've got all the little butterflies on there, we are ready to put this on our card base. And take the backings off of that. And we are done with all three cards. 
And like I said, they gave you extras so you can make even more cards or you can make a scrapbook page, all kinds of ideas you could do with all the leftovers. But one more time, let me show you the cards. Very simple. Um, this one, I'll always, um, I'm always here for you. And the little butterfly wings pop up like that. Then this one has the butterflies going along the edge there. Everything will be okay. And finally, sending loving, sending loving thoughts your way with all the little butterflies all around it. They also have surrounding you with love. You could put that in there also. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, paper pumpkin um, explanation. Um, like I said, if you uh, don't have a subscription to Paper Pumpkin and you would like, there is a link in the description box of this YouTube video. Other than that, also the April host code here, um, when you spend $50 or more in my shop, I always send you a thank you gift when you use the host code. Okay, y'all have a blessed rest of your week. And uh, there is no card challenge, new card challenge Wednesday. The card challenge is going on for two weeks while I'm on vacation. I will be back on Friday for Fun Fold Friday. All right. Bye-bye, <laughs> you guys.